checked. April 19th, 1981. Philly 99, Bucks 98. Game 7. Was that the Eastern Conference Final? I think it was. When it went to the final. It may have been a conference final, a semifinal. But the, the, I think it was semifinal. Anyway, to make a long story short, 99-98, I, was, I shortchanged you. I shortchanged you. 6708. 6708. At the spectrum. 6,708 people. Now, any other any other city in the in the Northeast, a game seven of a huge playoff series in the eighties. That's Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago, New York, Boston. Any of those cities in a it would not have sixty seven hundred people go to a game seven of a second round playoff series, especially some Hall of Famers on the team like Julius was. And I'm only asking why. Steve in Philly, and he's with us here. He's on Mad Dog Unleashed. Steve, take it away. What do you have for me today? Hey, I, I just picked up um, on your show, and I, I heard the comments about how um, I guess the one guy from California was saying that uh, Philly fans are only le- loyal to the Eagles and no others. No, I said that. Uh, they're more loyal to the Eagles than the other three teams, which is very rare in a big, generational, blue-collar, gritty city. And I'm trying to find out why. Well, I can tell you, I lived in northern Delaware my whole life, was a season ticket holder to the Eagles for 17 years, but grew up watching the Phillies, went to you know many Phillies games, many Flyers games, I can't, I can't say why we didn't support the Sixers. I know when Iverson was there and they were winning, the city seemed to fall in love with the Sixers as they did with the Flyers. But I think the passion behind the Eagles is really has a lot to do with the way um, media outside of Philadelphia – respects the Philadelphia fan because of all the incidents that happened in the past. And I'm not denying that, you know, in the, I guess, early 80s, late 70s, they threw batteries and snowballs at Santa Claus and all that other stuff at a jail and veterans stadium. But there's a real passion for the Philadelphia sports fan and the Philadelphia sports fan is also very educated. And I would also say, um, I think boxing was very huge in Philadelphia at one point that kind of took away from maybe the Sixers and the Phillies. All right, fair. Things. Fair. So maybe he had an extra sport. There's a good call. Uh, that was a good call. So was Ron in L.A. I annoyed him, but so was he. Ron and uh, Ralph in Jersey, he's with us here on Mad Dog Unleashed. Ralph, welcome. How are you today? Hey, Chris. How you doing? Ralph, thank you. Uh, What's up? Nothing. I, I think I'm from South Jersey, and I'm, not, I'm a Redskins fan. So the Redskins fans' biggest rival is Dallas, and likewise with Dallas. Philadelphia, their biggest rival is Dallas. And I think all these years they're envious of the Cowboys' success, and what about us? Let's sit at the big boys' table and they haven't had it. So I think it's more compassionate, but they also hate Dallas to the, so much, and they wish that they could be them. And finally, this is the year that they can stick it to them. So you think this, yeah, is, this, a, is, you think this is a little bit like Dallas? Okay. A little bit uh, like yeah. the uh, Yeah, but they have not shown the same passion for their teams, specifically the 76ers in history, and I wonder why. Uh, uh, sure. It's a good question. I mean, Boston. I mean, they had Will Ch- Will Chamberlain is from Philadelphia, and they couldn't draw flies when he played. How come? I that's a good question. And my, I have another point. They love Villanova. Okay, but what about Temple? Temple's right in the city. How come there's not more passion for Temple? I can't answer the college basketball. I can't answer so much. I don't know. I'll give you another game to look up. Game seven at the Philadelphia Convention Center, Boston and Philly. 1967 or 68. Go check that attendance out. About 5,000. Anyway, I hate parades. That's why I got cranky. Good call, Ronnie. 
Good call, Steve. Eddie and Colin. We'll see you tomorrow.